Is that an elephant in your room or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Welcome to Friday night, folks. On March 8th, 2024, I was the only person to mark the 30th anniversary of the Amaze Balls, literally. Michigan UFO event of 1994. An event so significant that it made the papers not only at the time as far afield as Chicago not only did it make the annals of MUFON, but its one-year anniversary was remarked upon by the Chicago Tribune. Its 25th anniversary was marked. It was immortalized on the reboot of Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix, but come the 30th anniversary, despite the fact that oh so many people claim to be UFOlogists, it was this lowly skeptic that marked the occasion. And I was only aware of the occasion because of my studies. Some people know, some people in the know. Walter Bosley you may remember him from his many appearances Contact in the Desert. He was in the mockumentary Mirage Men And he did have me as a guest on his show on Wednesday, March 13th, where he asked me about my investigations into time travel. In the description box below, you will see two entries. The second entry is marked step two, and it's the link to my Patreon. The first link is called step one, and it is the link to the interview, the discussion rather, that I just referenced between me and Walter Bosley. We don't just know each other from the net. I mentioned Contact in the Desert. You know, five years ago, I was at Contact in the Desert. And me and Walter were there. 
when one David Wilcock actually premiered his new project, the hover car endeavor. He recently had a new live stream where he showed off one of the many 3D printed models. The movie Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson premiered in 1989. I got this awesome Iron Maiden t-shirt. Um, in 2008, approximately, what, 16 years ago? Step one is watching the interview between me and Walter. The closer attention you pay, the more dividends you receive. I'm not here to make my case. I'm not here to prove anything to you. What's here is here. What you choose to investigate and what you choose to put your energy into and to the ability that you have the necessary tools and talents to see it, you will see it. And if you choose to pass by, that's your choice. I'm on my journey, you're on yours. And my journey no longer includes making the case. It's going down. It's a happening hot stuff. And if you want to get involved, the doors are open. You're invited. And all you got to do is turn away from other stuff and tune in to what's happening now. The day after, the morning after, the interview happened with me and Walter. And you can experience this as you experience it. If you fully saw the interview between me and Walter, and you're receiving this information now, then you'll receive this information now after you received the information of the interview between me and Walter. And if you receive this information first and then see the interview with me and Walter, that'll be fine too. It doesn't matter if you see this first or that first. All that matters is that you pay attention to both things all the way through. And if you don't, you don't. But like medicine you get from the doctor, if the instructions say, take as directed, if you want the thing to clear up and you don't take as instructed, don't complain to the doctor if the thing don't clear up. And if the instructions say, watch this thing and that thing in either order, 
to blow your mind and travel through time. Then don't complain to the doctor if you don't travel through time, if you don't watch the two things all the way through. Having given you the instructions, let me say the following. This is a book called Beyond the Occult. 20 years research into the paranormal. I have had this book in my possession since 2008, though I have never read it. Like many people, I buy more books than I read. What are you going to do? 20 years research into the paranormal by an individual that many people know and love, a man by the name of Colin Wilson. Two thousand and eight. Well, I will endeavor to say only the information and not go on any additional stuff. The Patreon link is in the link below. The number of viewers watching, according to the Mean Machine, is twenty three. This edition published in the UK in 2008. First published in hardback by Bantam Press, a division of Transworld Publishers Limited in 1988. Published by Corgi Books in paperback in 1989. Text copyright, Colin Wilson, 1988, 1989, 2008. to the part I need to read to you. Bear with me. Where was it? I should have marked the pages. There are particular things that I read that gave me pause and I knew that I needed to share with you. Hold on. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. What the hell? It's disappeared. No, no, no. Hold on. We'll find it. Come on. What the hell? Talk amongst yourselves. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> As everyone knows, Proust's vast novel, A la Recherche de Tombes Perdue, sprang from a single incident in his childhood. Just as Graves' theories in The White Goddess sprang from his experience behind the cricket pavilion. One day, feeling tired and depressed, 
Proust's hero is offered by his mother a small cake called a madeleine, dipped in herb tea. As he tastes it, he experiences an exquisite sensation of sheer happiness. I had now ceased to feel mediocre, accidental, mortal. After eating another bite, he recalls what has caused this feeling of power and happiness. The Madeline has revived memories of his childhood in a small country town called Camp Combray, where his aunt Leon used to give him a taste of her own Madeline dipped in the same herb tea. Why should this make him feel so happy? Because it has reminded him of the depths below the iceberg. He had been feeling bored and depressed, in other words, superficial. Now he catches a glimpse of the depths of his own mind and of its hidden powers. He also realizes that if only he could learn the trick of bringing back this feeling, he would never be unhappy again. This is why he sets out to revive it by writing his enormous autobiographical novel. Yet this deliberate intellectual activity fails. When he catches other glimpses of this magical feeling of power and strength, it is always by accident when he is thinking of something else. Hold on. In the 10th volume of his study of history, Arnold Tonebay describes several occasions on which he also had these strange glimpses into the reality of the past, not his own past, but that of history. On each of these occasions, he actually seemed to see the past as if he had been transported by a time machine. On one of these occasions, he seemed to see the Battle of Pharsalus, which had taken place in 197 BC and saw some horsemen, of which, of whose identity he was ignorant, galloping away from the massacre. It seems clear from his description that he felt this was not imagination, but some kind of glimpse of the past, like Mark Britton's glimpse of the future. And beyond the cult, I cite, I cite many other examples of more distant glimpses of the future, which proved to be accurate. On a snowy day in Washington in 1966, Thinking about this curious ability to make real other times and other places, I labeled it Faculty X. But Faculty X should not be regarded as some paranormal faculty. It is simply the opposite of that feeling of being medio mediocre, accidental, mortal, which all of us feel when we are tired and depressed, and which Sartre calls contingency. And whenever Faculty X awakens, it tells us that we are not contingent, not mediocre, accidental, mortal. Our powers are far greater than we realize. One more thing. Recalling that I was just reading this the next day, sitting on the shitter, the day after... I had the discussions with Walter Bosley. And again, pay attention to all the information contained in this dispatch and pay attention to all the information contained in the talk and discussion I had with Walter Bosley. And all shall be revealed. One more thing. From the text, in Beyond the Occult, I describe an interesting example of how I succeeded in achieving higher consciousness for most of an afternoon in 1979. The Michigan UFO incident happened on March 8, 1994, with sightings carrying on to March 11, 1994. On March 20th, the Chicago Tribune article contained 
a testimony from one Timothy Knapp, 23, of Marquette, who told police he saw a fireball with red and green lights falling to earth Thursday morning. The Marquette County Search and Rescue Squad looked unsuccessfully for wreckage, but said squad commander Lieutenant Thomas Mallett, it wasn't the first time we had something like this. A person in our live chat that day said with some certainty that they believed that individual was their uncle. We noted that March 8th was also the day, the 30th anniversary of that incident in Michigan, that this individual, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, as well as the game, partial creator of the game Chrono Trigger, a game involving time travel, that their death was announced. They actually died on March 1st but their death wasn't announced until March 8th. I had started watching Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z debuted in 1989. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll have you know that Chrono Trigger, the time traveling RPG, JRPG, debuted in Japan on the Super NES. On March 11th, 1995. The day after my broadcast on March 9th, 2024, the AARO, the, the Arrow Report from the U.S. Constituting Disclosure, though not the disclosure that anybody wanted, debuted. And then on March 13th, 2024, 29 years after the Chicago piece, Uh, recording the um, Michigan UFO incident. Me and Walter had our interview. Other things that occurred on March 8th. Of various years. The great Iranian poet Ferdowski, Ferdowsi, completed a, an epic poem, one of the longest poems known to man called the Shah Nahma. It's like the, the greatest, the poem of Iran or whatever. In 1936, Daytona Beach and Road Course held its first oval stock car race. In 1950, the iconic Volkswagen Type 2 bus began production. In 1965, the U.S. Marines first arrived in Da Nang. In 1979, Phillips demonstrated for the first time the compact disc. 1979, that same year, image taken by Voyager 1 proved the existence of volcanoes on Io, one of the moons of Jupiter. 1983, and during the Cold War, while addressing a convention of evangelicals, U.S. President Ronald Reagan labeled the Soviet Union an evil empire. On March 8th, Mickey Dolan's in 1945 of the Monkees was born. In 1958, Gary Newman, who wrote the song Cars, as well as writing the song I'm Talking to the Aliens, was born. In 1982, YouTuber Keemstar was born who recently dipped his toe into the ufology phenomena, if you want to know where things are going. Also in 1982, Kat Von D, one-time American tattoo enthusiast and now born-again Christian, was born. On March 8th, 
1930, beloved American President William Howard Taft died. In 1973, Ron Pigpen McCarran of the Grateful Dead died. In 1999, 25 years ago, on March 8th, Joe DiMaggio died. In 2016, George Martin, producer of The Beatles, joined him. In 2020, Max von Sydow, probably most famous, remembered most for his roles in such films as Minority Report, Judge Dredd, and I think those were his two biggest movies, right? Um, died as well. On March 9th, what I do? In 1862, during the American Civil War, the USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia fight to withdraw in the Battle of Hampton Roads. It was the first time a battle occurred between two ironclad warships. In 1961, Sputnik 9 successfully launches, carrying a dog and a human dummy, demonstrating that the Soviet Union was ready to begin human spaceflight. In 1974, the Mars 7 flyby bus releases the descent module too early, missing Mars. In 1997, Comet hale Bob observers in China, Mongolia, and eastern Siberia are treated to a rare double feature as an eclipse permits hale Bob to be seen during the day. 2011, the Space Shuttle Discovery makes its final landing after 39 flights. In 1451... Emergio Vespucci, the Italian cartographer and explorer and the namesake of the Americas, was born. In 1911, Clara Rockmore, American classical violin pro prodigy and theremin player, was born. She died in 1998, shortly after appearing in the documentary film Theremin. In 1918, George Lincoln Rockwell was born. You might remember him as the founder of the American Nazi Party. He died in 1967 after being assassinated by a member of his own organization after a spat between a dispute about whether or not blonde-haired white people were superior to brown-haired white people. 1918, Mickey Spillane was born. He died in 2006. 1930, Ornette Coleman, American saxophonist, violinist, trumpet player, and composer, was born. He died in 2015, but not before, amongst many other notable free jazz virtuoso performances, composing the soundtrack to the film adaptation of William S. Burroughs' Naked Lunch. 1934, Yuri Gagarin was born. He's the Russian colonel, pilot, and cosmonaut who ended up being the first human in space. He died in 1968. 1940, Raul Julia was born. He died in 1994, shortly after completing work on Street Fighter. 1942, John Cale of the Velvet Underground and the Theater of Eternal Music fame was born. 1965, American actor and football player Brian Bosworth was born. In 1971, Emmanuel Lewis was born on March 9th. Deaths that occurred on March 9th, 1994. During the, right after the initial March 8th, sightings in, in, on Lake Michigan on March 9th, 1994, Charles Bukowski passed away. 1996, two years later on that day, George Burns, American comedian, actor, and writer died, but not before playing God. 1997, the notorious B.I.G., American rapper, songwriter, and actor was assassinated. March 10th, 1876, March 10th, 1876, the first successful test of a telephone is made by Alexander Graham Bell. 1891, on the same day, Alman 
Stroger patents the Stroger switch, a device which led to the automation of telephone circuit switching. 1945, World War II, the U.S. Army Air Force firebombs Tokyo, and the resulting conflagration kills more than 100,000 people, mostly civilians. 1969, in Memphis, Tennessee, James Earl Ray pleads guilty to assassinating Martin Luther King Jr. He later unsuccessfully attempts to recant. This is going to be the second time that we're going to, the first time we're going to hear about James Earl Ray on March 10th, because March 10th is also James Earl Ray's birthday. 1979, Vietnam War, Captain Ernest Medina is charged in, by the U.S. military with the My Lay War crimes. 1977, on March, was it March 10th, astronomers discover the rings of Uranus. 1982, all nine planets recognized at this time, Mercury to Pluto, align on the same side of the sun. Now check this out, folks. I predict the Bitcoin was it having is going to be not good financial news, and I'll tell you why. 2000, the dot-com bubble peaks with the NASDAQ composite stock market index reaching whatever it reaches. But it, we all know where it goes from there. 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter arrives at Mars. 2023, Silicon Valley Bank collapses due to a run on its deposits in the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. Its operations are taken over by the FDIC. So that's number two for financial stuff. Births, 1928, James Earl Ray, American criminal assassin of Martin Luther King Jr., he died in 1998, 26 years ago. 1940, Chuck Norris is born. You know who else is born on that day? 1957, two individuals are born. Osama bin Laden and Shannon Tweed, wife of the demon, if I'm not mistaken. Gene Simmons of Kiss finally married Shannon Tweed after he was busted in that sex tape. So, uh, Canadian model and actress Shannon Tweed and Osama bin Laden were both born on nineteen in on uh, March tenth, nineteen fifty seven. Osama bin Laden died in on two thousand eleven. On the same day in nineteen sixty three, both Rick Rubin, American rec record producer, and Jeff Ament. American bass player and songwriter of Pearl Jam fame were born. In 1966, Edie Brickell, American singer-songwriter. Talk about nostalgia. 1971 of, of on that day, John Hamm, American actor and director, was born. Talk about deaths. Now, look at this one. March 10th, 1988. Andy Gibb, born 1958, dies. Wait for it. 2010, Corey Haim, dies. In the middle, Lloyd Bridges, 1998, dies. Born in 1913. March 11th, 1888. Pay attention to that year because a lot of things happened in 1888. The Great Blizzard of 1888 begins along the eastern seaboard of the United States, shutting down commerce and killing more than 400 people. 1945, World War II. The Imperial Japanese Navy attempts a large-scale kamikaze attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet anchored at Ulithi Atoll in Operation Tan Number no. 2. 1945, World War II, the Empire of Vietnam, a short-lived Japanese puppet state, is established. 2011, an earthquake measuring 9.0 in magnitude strikes 
130 kilometers 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 east of Sendai, Japan, triggering a tsunami killing thousands of people. This event also triggered the triggered the second largest nuclear accident in history and one of only two events to be classified as a level 7 on the international nuclear event scale. 2020 March 11th, the World Health Organization declares the COVID-19 virus epidemic a pandemic. March 11th births. 1903, Lawrence Welk, American accordion player and band leader, died in 1992. 1945, Doc Ellis, the famous Doc Ellis who pitched the game on LSD, American base player, base, baseball player and coach. He died in 2008. Pay attention. To what the acid drop in baseball players throw. 1950, Bobby McFerrin was born. American singer, songwriter, producer, and conductor. Still with us. 1952, however, Douglas Adam, who died in 2001, the English author and playwright. 1955, Nina Hagen, Tichy Tarot, German singer and songwriter. 1961, Elias Cotis, Cotias, Canadian actor. This is what my girlfriend would look like without skin. If you know, you know. Been in a million things other otherwise. You 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 know him. You don't know him, but you've seen him in everything. 1964, Vinnie Paul was born. American drummer, songwriter, and producer. He died in 2018. 1968, Lisa Loeb. American singer, songwriter. 1971, Johnny Knoxville. 1982, Thora Birch. Most famous for playing the son, daughter of famed child molester, uh, Kevin Spacey. Deaths. Now check this shit out. On March 11th in 1931, F.W. Murnau, German-American director, producer, and screenwriter, passed away. He was born in 1888. Check this shit out. In 1957, March 11th, also passed away, Admiral Richard E. Byrd. You know that Admiral Byrd? When was he born? 1888. Also dying on March 11 was Slobodan Milosevic, Serbian lawyer and politician, third president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, was born in 1941. The only reason I noted that was because I got to be honest with you, me and one of my daughters, for whatever reason, growing up, for whatever reason, I don't know why, we, we started when she was really little, like two or three, we came up with a song for Slobodan Milosevic, Slobodan, Slobodan Milosevic, Slobodan Slobodan Milosevic is like a, kind of like a family memory. March 12th, 1912. March 12th, 1912. The Girl Guides, later named the Girl Scouts of the USA, are found in the United States. Also on March 12th in 1918, you know there's a connection, Mos Moscow became the, ca the capital of Russia again after St. Petersburg held the status for most of the period since 1713. 1933, during the Great Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt addresses the nation for the first time as President of the United States. This is also the first of his fireside chats. 1947, during the Cold War, the Truman Doctrine is proclaimed to help to stem the spread of communism. 1989, Sir, Term, Sir Tim Burns-Lee submitted his proposal to CERN for an information management system, which subsequently develops into the World Wide Web. 1993, on March 12th, several bombs explode in Mumbai, India, killing about 300 people and injuring more. 19, same, on that same year, on March 12th, North Korea announces that it will withdraw from the Treaty of the, on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons and refuses to allow inspectors access to its nuclear sites. 
1999, former Warsaw Pact members of the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Poland join NATO. 2003, the Prime Minister of Serbia is assassinated in Belgrade. Also in 2003, the World Health Organization officially releases a global warning of outbreaks of SARS. On that day in 2004, the president of South Korea is impeached by its National Assembly, the first such impeachment in the nation's history. Now check that out. this out. March 12th, 2009, financier Bernie Madoff pleads guilty to one of the largest frauds of, in Wall Street's history. I'm telling you, folks, anything financial happening on all these, these anniversaries, that's 2009, that's a 15-year loop. It's dead on the money. I'm telling you, anything financially, we're going to get, it's going to be, a, they're doing this whole Bitcoin having thing is coming up. It's going to be a fucking disaster. If you're holding any sort of Bitcoin, I'm telling you, this is not financial advice because it's not financial advice and it's psychic advice, right? I'm telling you, I've been doing this chrono magic for going on since 2018. I'm putting my money on it. It's an easy bet to bet against. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not financial advice. And I'm telling you where I'm getting my information from. I'm getting my information from time travel technology, right? Which is which is which is not scientific, right? It's based on literally. It's based on imagineering, right? I was not going to give you financial advice, and then I stopped getting high. But when I started doing this shit, I most certainly was right. Do not do this, but do this, but don't do this. But um, I gave you my homework, and my homework was stuck together with, you know, doob, right? Which I quit. But honestly, don't the the opposite of hodling, right? Bizarro hodl. I'm telling you, there's no way I'm off on this one. But then again, it's like an easy bet. 2011 reactor the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear. Uh, not financial advice. And it's a bit. This all is a, it's all an act. Uh, 2011, a reactor, but don't, but if you got Bitcoin, get rid of it. I don't know, but I don't know what I'm talking I have no idea what I'm talking about. 2011, a reactor, the Fukushima, but uh, uh, 2000, Cliff High would tell you to do the opposite thing. So what are you going to do? 2011, a reactor, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant explodes and releases radioactivity into the atmosphere a day after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. 2020, the United States suspends travel from Europe due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Births, 1922, Jack Kerouac, American author and poet, died, 1969. 1946, Liza Minnelli, American actress, singer and dancer. 1947, Mitt Romney, American businessman and politician, 70, 70th governor of Massachusetts. Yo, 1956, Steve Harris, English bass player and songwriter. Yo, 1994, check this shit out if you want to know how old you're getting and how tragedy it works. Do you remember this name? You don't, but you'll remember it. Christina Grimey was born in 1994. Who was she? She was that young singer-songwriter who was killed by an obsessed fan in 2016. She would have been 30 today. People who died on March 12th. In 1955, Charlie Parker passed away. In 2001, Morton Downey Jr., the talk show host, passed away. In 2015, Terry Pratchett. And in 2021, Ronald DeFeo Jr. passed away. He was born in 1951. Who was Ronald DeFeo Jr.?
Have you heard of the Amityville Horror? He was the young man who killed his family that inspired all of those movies. March 13th, the last day that we're going to be talking about. In 1826, Pope Leo XII publishes the Apostolic Constitution, Quo Graviora, in which he renewed the prohibition on Catholics joining Freemasonry. In 1888, the eruption of Ritter Island triggers tsunamis that kills up to 3,000 people on nearby islands. 1930, the news of the discovery of Pluto is announced by Lowell Observatory. 1943, the German forces liquidate the Krakow ghetto. 1969, Apollo 9 returns safely to Earth after testing the lunar module. 1993, the storm of the century affects the eastern United States, dropping feet of snow in many areas. March 13th, the day that me and Walter talked. To Scientologists, it's known as L. Ron Hubbard Day because in 1911, L. Ron Hubbard was born. He died on in 1986. In 1913, William J. Casey, American politician and 13th director of the Central T Intelligence Agency, was born. L. Ron Hubbard was born in 1911 and died in 1986. William J. Casey was born in 1913, died in 1987. Also on the same day that L. Ron Hubbard was born in 1976, Denny Masterson, American actor and producer, and now inmate of the California penal system and Scientologist, was born. Remember, folks, ass-kicking begins, or Zen ends when ass-kicking begins. On that date, March 13th in 1998, Judge Dredd, the English singer-songwriter, passed away. And in 2013, Clive Burr, the original drummer for Iron Maiden, died. A lot of information coming at you very fast. I know, folks. A lot of information coming at you very fast. I'm going to scan through the live chat, mostly just to say hi. We say hello to the elephant in the room. We say hello to Mario Heat. We say hello to Jonas Side. We say hello to Galactic Dude Man. We say hello to Kilendal. Long time no see. Kilendal, good seeing you. Synthetic Rebellion. We say hello to Synthetic Rebellion, Kilendo, Linda Snows, the Year of the Dragon. Synthetic Rebellion let us know that he's the guy who owns Infinite Jest, but has actually read it twice. There you go. God bless you. And of course, the most important message, Massad, Abattoir, IRW. 
Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer you a promotion to your channel. Viewers, followers, view chat bots, etc. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be the best. Flexible and convenient order management panel, chat panel. Everything is in your hands. A huge number of custom settings. Go to Streamwise. We say hello to Phil Blair. We say hello to Pim Bisquick. But have you read Dune? I have read Dune. I've read I've read a couple of the Dune books, though I've I've, I've more Dune books than I've read. I, I it's on my my to do list. Here we go. Here's Philip Blair. I had to look up Gravity's Rainbow. There you go. We got Jay Roach with us. Phil Blair with the comedy moment of the night. Chrono Trigger sounds like when you've been traumatized by clocks. Pretty much. It's there. Talk amongst yourselves. There you go. We got Pragmagic. There you go. Of course, you know, listen, leave it to, okay. And we got Keats is in a mood. Sad, side I had far better films than those mentioned. I, you know what? No, no, challenged. Flash Gordon. You know what? If I forgot, I, yeah, I forgot Flash Gordon. Fair enough. And Minority Report. I forgot Flash. Fair enough. You know, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I forgot Flash Gordon and I forgot my minority report. There, we did it. We have the and was he in beer? He was in some movie with the McKenzie brothers. That was the one I was reaching for. I was reaching for the one with. I was looking for the 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 threes. I had Judge Dredd. I had something, and I was looking for. Um, I was reaching for the one that he did with the McKenzie brothers. Synthetic Rebellion. I have two theremins and neither one works. You know, theremins are the ones that are brought back to the, to the music store, you know, more times than any of the people are like, no, that's, you know what? <laughs> well, the secret to, to being a, a, cigar, a cigar smoker is you never actually inhale. Allegedly. Philip Blair, James Earl Ray was the first wife of Shannon Tweed? Yes. Synthetic Rebellion, hashtag not so current events. Nah. It's got legs. It's got legs. Oh, God. Here we go. The original Renaissance occurred one year after the Year of the Dragon. Hmm, fascinating. Pip Bisquick, Joe DiMaggio, the guy in the song. Yeah, exactly. That's what you know. What? That's where they got it. Colin Wilson. There you go. Colin Wilson. Brian. Wilson, there you go. Boom! 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 It should have been built. Kill I'm going all in on Bitcoin now. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. It's like reverse, reverse psychology. I thought you were going to be like, I remember when Lawrence Welk died. My grandma and I watched some of his shows that day. I thought you were going to lead right into from the James Earl Wright. They thought you'd be like, I remember when Lawrence Welk died. Me and my friend celebrated all day long. Kill Endel, maybe listen to the guy with millions. There you go. There you go. Bop, 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 bop. There you go. Here you go. My wife was born in the 13th, 75. Better mention her. Mentioned. That's right. Hey, that's right. You Because you mentioned her during the show. Add it to the list. Pimp Bisquick. I learned everything I know about time travel technology from The Invisibles by Grant Morrison. And I was at an event called DisinfoCon 
where Grant Morrison spoke and said that the Matrix ripped off everything from his thing, The Invisibles. And I asked him a question that stumped him uh, during the Q&A, but was cut from the DVD of Disinfocon, whatever. But that's on the nostalgia loop now because that's how old we are. Everything has been a million years ago. Synthetic Rebellion. I thought it said Ron Maiden. I know, and that's why I bought it. There you go. It's a, I think I ripped off of the shirt, man. No, why? I love Ryan, Ma Ryan Maiden. It says Ron Maiden, dude. Oh, man. It's my it's my uh, solo. It's my I got this acoustic uh, band. It's like it's basically it's an acoustic guitar tribute to Iron Maiden called Ron Maiden. I got some tapes in the car if you want it. Maybe later. Later we'll check them out. Yeah, totally. Oh yeah, yeah. The dime bag. Yeah, totally, man. Absolutely. You, you can hang out and chill if you want to for a while. You gotta go. No, it's cool, man. It's cool. You gotta go. But yeah, no, come back later if you want to jam and play, you know. I got some flyers. Facts, right? And scene. There you go. There you go. Was Ron, L. Ron Hubbard ever CIA? Nah, they wouldn't have him. Strange bro. There you go. Strange bro. No, I know what you were referencing, Pragmatic. I'm not even going to highlight you. There you go. <laughs> Bucky Station. There you go. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. We say hello to Bucky Station. There you go. Da-da-da-da-da. Oh, my God. There you go. No fight. There you go. Baba. Listen, folks. Patreon. Stream the thing below. ba 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 Because I'll tell you anything. Listen, folks. I'm telling you. Two thousand and twenty-four. The power loops. I was doing the the, the hashtag, you know, twenty-year nostalgia loop. The thirty-year nostalgia loop is crazy, and the fifteen-year nostalgia loop. You cut the thirty-year nostalgia loop into fifteen years. I'm telling you. So it's fours and nines, and you can vacillate a little, like you you know, go up and down one. So like four to five, four down to three, nine up to zero, or nine down to eight. So stay away from sixes and sevens, ones and twos. Don't listen to anything from a year of – don't listen to or hang out or read anything from a six or seven, a one or a two. And stay on the year that you're on. But you can travel through time. You can affect reality. You want to go somewhere? You want to prove and see that I'm right? You know what I saw today? And you're going to see it tomorrow? Remember? In 1998, 1999, the off-the-shoulder cave girl look? Remember the girls walking around with the cave girl look with the one, the one cold shoulder? Like Madonna and the videos, that and the little cowboy hats. You're going to see it tomorrow. You're going to see a girl with the cave girl thing. The, the I don't know what they're called, like the off the shoulder thing. And you're going to see a little cowboy hats coming back. Yeah, you are. You're going to see it tomorrow. And you're going to know I'm fucking right. And also, you know, it's coming back and you're going to see all the time now. Big pants. Kids with big pants. Like Jinko style. So big target years, if you want to go to, you can go to 1998, you can go to 1999, go to 1994. Only listen to music. Only play video games. Only read books. Only watch movies or TV shows from that given year as best you can. Don't go to a fight with anybody. It won't blow your high if you, if you, you know, listen to something, you know, something else. Or if, you know, a YouTube video comes on that's got historical events or current events from about Donald Trump. But to the degree that you can, try and focus in on 
the year of your choice, whether it be 1999 or 1994, 1984, 1989. But 1994, 1999 are good years to, to, to start on. Or if you want to try 2009 so it won't break you up too much to, to, to forego modern shit, you know? I'm telling you. And you will see. The reality will change around they. Jay Roach says 99 is the go. Bucky Station says I'm gonna try I'm gonna try 1894. Hey man. But stay away. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, stay away from sixes and sevens, ones and twos. They're off brand. I'm telling you, trust me. Pimp Bisquick says, I, I rock the cave girl look. It's coming back. I hope you didn't throw that stuff away. It's coming back, girl. Phil Blair, we've already done big pants. Philip, move to the front of the class. You need you need extra attention. I love you, kid. From 1989, the Chinese Tarot. What card are we going to get? Pragmatic. Now, I'm definitely doing sixes and sevens and ones and twos. You know, it's your loss. You know what I mean? You want to be a bad kid. If you want to be off-brand, you go ahead and be off-brand. You know what I mean? This is like, you know, Pragmatic is the guy that's going to be like, oh, don't put sugar in my gas tank. I'll put sugar in my gas tank. And I'm the I'm the guy. I'm the guy in the engine and the in the in the, the mechanics class going. Why are you gonna do that, kid? Why are you gonna do that? Do I remind you of your father? Like, what the fuck is you know? Sometimes Keats is just like Keats. Yeah, Keats is gonna Keats. There you go. I want to evade Chico Pants and pin my right. You're not going to, that's not how it works. Here we go. I love you. This guy, this fucking, I, listen, okay, hold on. Did I ever tell you guys about Diversion Magic? An anarchic grimoire for ritual creation, ruination, ruination and rebirth? If you're going to buy one of uh, Anarchic Grimoire this year, definitely make it Divergent Magic by uh, Revelator Keats Raz. Oh, baby, let me tell you. It's the uh, it's the grimoire endorsed by a clown. Nah, right? They ooh, right? It looks like a planchette, but it's a book. You know, and it's spelled with a K, so everyone will know that you're one of those you know, real hip magician guys. You know, and you're not one of those fucking thick bags. Without further ado, there's an alternative timeline where Alex Jones turned all the frogs gay. Listen, well, he's actually the alternative timeline. He's happy about it. They turned all the frogs gay, right? It's all how you. God damn it! Here we go. From 1989, The Sun. Oh, baby, that makes perfect fucking sense. Here comes The Sun. In the light of the day, all shall be revealed. And sunlight is the cleanser. There are mysteries at night 
the sun comes out and there is new clarity revealed. Old energy is dissipated. Cobwebs are cleared away. Frightmares are chased. And new beginnings can begin. There's a time for darkness. And there is a time for light. Here comes the sun. Can you dig it? I love you, I love you, I love you. If nobody told you they loved you today or tonight, someone just did that somebody is CW Chanter. And his erstwhile compatriots, companions, well-wishers, and playful trolls. Ah, I love you guys. On this wild spaceship called Earth. Check out the interview. If you haven't already, and more secrets will be revealed, you get out of it what you put into it. We are going from point A to point B. Something is happening if you want it to happen. Until next time.